Hi, I'm Andy Taylor with Tech Talk Radio. This is your Tech Blast for the 30th of July, 2015. So, did you go ahead and bite the bullet? Did you upgrade Windows 10? Or is that something you're saving for the weekend? Web traffic was a little heavier yesterday as many people were attempting to download the operating system and get installed. Now, one question that has come up quite a bit is suddenly everybody's saying, hey, what's Wi-Fi Sense? Now, I heard this from my buddy who was a computer guy out here in Tucson named Todd Detry, and uh, Krebs Security had posted a note about this. Wi-Fi Sense is kind of a neat idea. However, not a smart idea. It's a neat idea. What it does is it shares with your friends, your Outlook contacts, Facebook contacts, your Wi-Fi password. So that way, if they come over to visit, their Wi-Fi is on for them. Now, it's a hashed Wi-Fi password, which means they're not going to actually see the password, but it does mean they're going to be able to get on your network. Now, me personally, I have a few friends that have my password for my Wi-Fi at home, and that's because they are my friends. I know who they are. I know when they come over, they're going to want to get on their tablets, their phones, etc. So then I have given that to them. Guest access is also another smart way to go. But in this case, it would share it automatically without you even doing anything. And it would, by default, share your information, your password on those different services. So I'm going to show you how to turn it off. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see how to tune this feature off. We're going to come on down to our laptop screen here. We're going to click here and the notification area. And then you'll come up here to a tab called All Settings. We'll click on that tab. We'll come here. This is your settings area. Then what we will do is we'll go ahead and go to Wi-Fi and Internet. All right, once we're there. And as you can go to Manage Wi-Fi Settings. And you'll see it right there. That's the Wi-Fi Sense where it actually shows for networks I select. Now, as you can see, by default, it is selected. So we want to go ahead and, of course, uh, turn these off. Number one, I'm going to do this in case it comes back on at some point. Then we're going to go ahead and very easily, there we go. Because I, I really don't want to connect to any network that is shared by my contact because I don't want a reverse attack if that was the case. And the only networks I want to get on are mine or ones that my friends have actually given to me when I'm over at their, uh, their place. So if anybody asks you, hey, did you hear about this Wi-Fi sense? You could say, yep. The guy who's over at Tech Talk Radio showed me how to turn it off. <laughs> Did you hear about William Meredith in Louisville, Kentucky? Apparently, William Meredith was sitting inside his home. His daughter's out playing in the yard. And they came in to tell Dad about this strange thing that was flying outside. Well, Dad grabbed his shotgun, came outside, and saw there was a drone flying over his backyard. So what did every smart dad do? He shot it down! <laughs> and apparently, the owner of the drone got a little ticked off called the cops. The cops came. They actually arrested the uh, homeowner because they, obviously he's firing a shotgun at something in the air, but he said he was concerned for his privacy. We'll have to see how this one plays out. If you've ever needed to translate any information online, you'll find that there are some really great services out there. I translate, Babel, as well as Google, Google Translate. And Google Translate just announced today that they've added about 20 different language support features in Google Translate, which means you'll be able to translate information to and from those languages. One of the other cool things that they've added too is the ability to point a camera at text, written text, and then be able to go ahead and have that translate as well. So if something is written in Spanish, Mandarin, etc., you should be able to translate depending on the language and of course through the service Google Translate. One of the keys to great subscription programming is original content that you can't see anywhere else. Oh, maybe on DVD, but it certainly has been a big success for Netflix with Orange is the New Black. Hulu's had some shows and original programming and Amazon Prime as well. Of course, we all know HBO has done Game of Thrones. Huge. But what about Amazon Prime? What are they doing? Well, they've decided to add a brand new show they announced today that'll be focused at the car crowd, the gearhead. And we think of a show that was similar to that recently, Top Gear, which uh, our hosts are gone from now. Our favorites, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond, it's coming back. They're bringing the folks from Top Gear to their brand new car show on Amazon Prime that will be available as some of their original programming. We'll hope to see that one very soon. If you've been missing the guys, they'll be back. 
All right, and finally, very big question for you. Are you a cat owner and a smartphone owner? Well, Motorola did a survey. Motorola, of course, coming out with the new Moto X style we announced yesterday. But if you had to save your smartphone or a cat in a fire, which one would you save? Well, of course, 54% said their smartphone. What's wrong with these people? A cat versus a smartphone? You save the cat. I know I like my smartphone too. 60% of those people surveyed said they sleep with their smartphone. Oh my gosh. Is it ever going to stop? <laughs> That's it for me, Andy Taylor. Have yourselves a great day. We'll be back with more Tech, tech Blast throughout the week. Thanks.